Leos. Welcome to the first half of November love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing good. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up uh, in and around you. So you could be experiencing uh, the messages that I'm about to tell you for my meditative session, or someone within your environment could be experiencing them, or someone you're energetically attached to. And it is energy, so keep in mind messages can be reversed or vice versa. So Leo, <laughs> I know you're not going to like what I got to say, okay? But you didn't know what you signed up for is, is what is the energy that I'm picking up from you guys. It's almost that energy of like some kind of obligation or some kind of commitment, <clears throat> excuse me, that you've always associated with yourself with or something you literally signed up for. There could have been a contract in place. Um, it could have been just a belief system that was bestowed upon you by your family. Um, it could be some kind of obligation or something that you've just associated yourself with that's a little obligatory or has become obligatory. Take that as it resonates. Now, for whatever reason, you're coming into knowledge of, oh, that's not what I thought that was. So for example, let's say your family's Catholic and you grew up Catholic, but you, maybe you didn't always know what it meant to be Catholic, or maybe you didn't always like, you maybe never like read the Bible or what have you, right? And so for whatever reason, you're finding all the details now of what it means to be Catholic. And maybe you're like, oh, that doesn't resonate with me. You know what I mean? And no shade to anybody who's Catholic, my God. Religion's just religion. It's not up to me to tell you what you need to believe or not believe, okay? Um, <clears throat> but it's that kind of energy. You just didn't know what you were really associating with. You didn't know what the full details of this obligation. It's it's a little bit of like not even buyer's remorse because some of you, I just feel like it was bestowed upon you, um, like traditions or religion. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. For some of you, this could have been a contract, right? This could have been something you signed. Like maybe you signed up for a job, right? And you thought you knew what it was about and you get there and it's like, well, do you know this? And do you know that? It's like, well, you never said that in the interview. You know what I mean? It's a little bit like there was more to it than what you initially thought. And whatever was more to it is something that does not jive with you. It's actually something that you want to reject or something that you want no part in. OK, if this is a relationship or, you know, a relationship <laughs> or someone that you're with or someone that you're engaged to, you know, you're go maybe you're moving in together. Okay, there you go. That's a good example. Maybe you're moving in together. Maybe you're getting engaged. You're getting married. And so you're having to go through all the nitty gritty of the shit that this person maybe never told you about or going through their finances. And then you're like, oh, oh, I didn't know that this was a whole, this came with you. Like, I didn't, I didn't know you had all this other shit going on that I had no clue about. I'm not signing up for that. You know, some of you could be in that kind of a situation. Okay, either way, whatever this obligation is, tradition, religion, commitment, contract, whatever it is, Leo, you don't like all the details that are now coming out and you want no part of it. It has a big rejection energy attached to it. <clears throat> Keep in mind, Leo, someone could be feeling this way about you or someone in your life could be going through this. Um, I also heard Cat got the cream, <laughs> which I really kind of liked. Cat got the cream. Leo, you don't want any part of anything that's going to like make you feel okay. I know some of my Leos are going to be pissed off that I'm about to say this. That's going to make you not really feel so special. No dig at Leos. No dig at Leos. It's just the, tr the energy I was picking up on. It's like, you want to be that person that gets the special thing. You want to be the person that is seen as special. You want to feel special. You want to feel good. You want to feel like you got some reward or whatever, what have you. But you want no part of anything that's not going to make you feel that way. Don't shoot the messenger. Just the messenger, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle after I get some tea, hold on. Mm. <clears throat> As I spill some tea. <laughs> okay, Leos, I'm using the Cosmic Tarot deck. I was really pulled to it for your partner's reading and I really wanna use it for your reading now. So let's go ahead and get into it. Please import any messages of true feeling and love for those who need it for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Losing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Ooh, oh. God, sorry, it was like someone's touching my leg. Anyway, back to you, Leos. Losing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Why? They show me the death card. <laughs> They're showing me the death card. Give me a little Scorpio, not necessarily. You, I, yeah, I really think it's more that rejection. It rejects. 
rejection energy of rejecting something that you just do not resonate with something you want no part of something you don't want to be associated with being associated with this person or thing or belief system or infrastructure is really big the energy that i'm feeling is just that you don't want to be associated with you don't want to be associated with Closing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Hmm. Hmm. You're getting something about beauty. What is this? Actually, hold on a second. Let me get chapstick while I, mar while I marinate on this little message that just came in. Beauty. Leo, I think this is, okay, this is also a part of it. Whatever knowledge you're coming into about this commitment, contract, traditions, infrastructure that you don't want any part of because some details are coming out there like, oh shit, I didn't know that beforehand. Uh, I don't want that. No, thank you. Um, whatever information's coming out, it's making you realize that it's going to keep you from other things in your life or other potential things. Like, um, I'm getting beauty and blossoming. Okay. Um, mm. for some of you, whatever information's coming out about this obligatory thing that you are rejecting, it's, it's keeping you from something either really beautiful in your life, something that's growing in your life, something that just has a lot of warmth to it. A lot of warmth, a lot of grace I'm hearing as well. This could be a person. This could definitely be a person. Um, yeah, it could keep you from a potential relationship for some of you. Someone's also spirituality. Like some of you are looking at this like, oh, this is going to be a block on my path. Like this is going to be a block in my own growth and spiritual growth and I don't need that. Yeah, that's what that is. That's what that is. And some, like I said, it's blocking you from a relationship. <clears throat> Moving forward, any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it? For Leo, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Why am I hearing that phrase? Lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. <laughs> I don't even know where that's from. I just know it's a phrase and I just heard it. I don't know. I don't know what that's in reference to. I do not know. Um, oh, hold on a second. All kinds of cards got flipped over here. Are we good? Okay, yeah, no, we're good. So high priestess. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Keep in mind we're still in the pre-shuffle energy here. You are I feel like it's your intuition, Leo. Something, something before okay, before this information even comes to light about this obligatory thing that you've signed up for or associated with yourself with or has been bestowed upon you by your family or what have you, your intuition's going off and your intuition's telling you something's not right. Mm -mm. Your intuition's telling you something is not right. And then we have, wow, 10 of wands in reverse, Sag energy with the nine of wands, Sag energy and the six of cups, Scorpionic energy here. So like I said, it could be something to do with family, like religion or tradition or something of that nature. But 10 of wands in reverse with the nine of wands, um, I feel like your your alarm bells are screaming that that some something's about to be over. You want something to be over. That's what it is. Your intuition screaming at you that something's not right and it's making you go into that mode of like, maybe I need to put an end to something right now. Like, maybe I should just walk away from this right now before shit hits the fan or before I'm too stuck in this to walk away. Yeah, that's kind of how it feels. Before I'm too stuck in this to walk away. And it's so funny, this is a Sag card, but look, we got a lion behind there. I feel like this is your energy, the Nine of Wands. You're on the defensive. You're on the defensive because your intuition's telling you something here. Your, intu your intuition's telling you something yeah, and you're wondering if you should put an end to something. You're wondering if you should put an end to this obligation, this contract, not associate yourself anymore with this religion or this job or this tradition or what have you. But the fact that Six of Cups is right next to you, you could have been in a similar situation in your past. Because Nine of Wands can be Wounded Warrior where you've suffered before in your past from something like this and you're like, oh, no, 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 no. Is history repeating itself? I'm not doing this shit. Mm -mm. I'm not doing this shit. That's definitely how that feels. <clears throat> Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, I just heard Aries. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. 
Some of this is a karmic lesson. Some of this is a karmic lesson. Four of Wands, Aries energy, your personal foundation here. This could be about a relationship. It could be about your household, but a foundation's at play in this. Perfect balance. I just heard perfect balance. Yeah, whatever this is, Leo, that your alarm bells are ringing off about, your gut is telling you that you got to put an end to it, that you have to put an end to it for your own stability, for your own harmony, and to just, you know, just to be an energy where you're only going to associate yourself that with energies that resonate with you or situations that resonate with you. <clears throat> for some of you, it is a repetitive issue from something in your past, okay? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. Oh. Oh. Leo. We got a disloyal person here, okay? Whether this is you or this person or another person that you're connecting to. Queen of Pentacles is like a committed energy. It's someone who's usually in a relationship or someone who's committed to a job, someone who's committed to a family. It's a committed energy. They usually are not alone, okay? They're usually taking care of other people. When they're in reverse, they're focused on themselves and only themselves. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is also known as the disloyal spouse or disloyal partner card. Four of Wands indicates a relationship or foundation of some kind here. Leo, your intuition could be telling you that someone's not exactly loyal to whatever this obligation is and it's like well if you're not loyal to it why would i be loyal to it that's definitely for some of you others it's you not wanting to be loyal to this because you know that there's something hidden there that you don't that you didn't initially know of before signing up for it okay there's something there that you're like wait a minute i know that i wouldn't want to do that and it wasn't that information wasn't divulged to you before signing up for this obligation contract relationship whatever and your intuition is telling you might want to walk away now before you get hurt Ooh, before you get hurt or just associate with something that is will be a hindrance to you, okay? Like that block from beautiful things, that block from your own path or from a blossoming relationship. Take your pick of whatever that is, okay? All right, Leah, let's go ahead and get into the reading now. For those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them, okay? So if it's not your message, it's not your message, and that's okay. Please check out any other reader we have here on YouTube. Don't need to throw hate or shade, and please don't try to make it fit. <laughs> these are for readings for thousands of people. Please do not try to make this whole reading fit. Sometimes I get messages for different groups of people, and if that happens not everything can resonate with you, you know, and that's okay. Um, also, guys, if it is resonating, you already know who you are in the story. If you need to switch the roles, switch the roles. Um, don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energy. We read energy, not gender. And this is for the first half of November, but anytime you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it, okay? Any other questions, curiosities, or confusions about me, my channel, or tarot, please check out all the links below. There's a lot of information below, okay? All right, let's get into it, Leo. Any messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of November? Okay. Oh, sorry, guys. My eyes itchy. Give me a second. It was my eye itchy, my left eye. I <laughs> okay. All right, I'm back. Any messages for Leo? Oh, ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. So for some of you, this is about family. So this is definitely about family. It could also just be about your own legacy or your career. I feel like this is a foundation that's already existing here. Okay, could also indicate a marriage or a commitment, but it's a foundation that put on that required a lot of effort. And a lot of time and a lot of resources to build up, okay? Whatever this kind of foundation is for you. But it feels very long-standing or something that was meant, something, thank you, something that was meant to stand the test of time is what I just heard. <clears throat> Any messages for Leo? I'm hearing home, home. Somebody could be buying a home. Somebody could be buying a home here or this could be happening within your home environment. Any messages for Leo? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of November? Let's see here. Ooh, 
two cards yeah I, was like, I don't know i felt like three for a second five of cups in reverse scorpionic energy and eight of pentacles in reverse virgo energy eight of pentacles in reverse that's an energy of not really working okay that's an energy of not really putting an effort not really investing not really looking at something a little lackadaisical but five of cups in reverse is getting over this getting over this you might leo you might have felt like someone wasn't putting in the right amount of effort there's a lot of pentacles here by the way so if you were building a business or you had a like a plan in place or you had other people involved in building something financially other people might not have been putting in the same amount of effort as you but you're put you're getting over that you're getting over that if that's the case i think you're rejecting them and just cutting them out if that's the case any other messages for leo Ooh, beautiful ace of wands uh beautiful energy inspiration creation a lot of creative energy right there a lot of creative energy right there um ooh, leo leo i feel like this is you rejecting whoever wasn't giving an energy or whatever wasn't working with for you with you and whatever obligation you were in okay and now with the Ace of Wands, it's almost like a, how do I say this? How do I say this? Like opening a new door to a new person is kind of how this feels. It's opening doors. That's for damn sure. It's definitely opening doors. It's that beautiful. That's what it is. It's that beautiful, blossoming, promising energy that you feel blocked off from because of this energy. Okay. Whatever was blocking this, it could just be your, your own creative energy. It could just purely be that. But whatever this is, I should say was, because I feel like this is something you're leaving behind and kicking out. Yeah, kicking out of your life. This is something you're kicking out of your life. This is tied to that obligation that you didn't have all the details to initially, okay? Whatever that is, you're rejecting it so that new things can come into your life or new people can come into your life or a new person. Any other messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of November? You're feeling blessed is what I heard too. You're feeling blessed. Ooh, the fool. Nice. Aries energy. Could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. Oh, yeah. This is definitely new, 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 new. A hell of a lot of newness right here. A lot of passion as well. I'm feeling a little bit of se uh, sexual energy, sacral energy, a lot of creation. Yeah, Leo, whoever, whatever this is that was tied to that obligation, that contract, that tradition, whatever, that's done and over. Thrown out. Done and over you're embracing new into your life. You're embracing only things that resonate with you and only people that resonate with you. Oh, and only people who have your back is what I just heard. People who have your back. Any messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Leo regarding love for the first half of November? Oh boy. Oh my okay nine of wands in reverse sag energy queen of pentacles capricorn energy could also be earth or water with the queen of wands in reverse aries energy could also be fire or water here you got two different people two different people what here white white <laughs> two different people right here my bugs bunny like what the hell is that about and with that nine of wands in reverse sag energy I feel like this is just you putting the burden down of dealing with this person. I really feel like whatever that block was, oh, some of you haven't worked through this block yet. So keep that in mind. Some of you haven't worked through this block yet. We all work through energy differently. So if you haven't worked through it yet, you haven't worked through it yet. But I do feel some of you have. It's almost like you put the burden down of them and the obstacles they created. Yeah, most definitely. Because Queen of Wands in a verse, I'm just getting a very like, ugh, what's the word? It's just kind of, it's just toxic. It's just toxic energy. Queen of Wands in a verse is also known as someone who's wearing a mask. Um, someone who's really good at concealing who they are and their true motives. And the fact they came out the Queen of Pentacles, it's almost like the Queen of Pentacles is the mask they were, they were wearing. Someone who's committed and nurturing and very loyal, but deep down, it was just a facade. And Nine of Wands in a verse, you can see through that now and you're just putting it down. You're putting it down, you're walking away from it, you're just cutting it out and you're like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't need that shit. I don't need that shit in my life. Over energy, we have six of pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy here. So this kind of threw you for a loop. All right, finding out this information, whatever it was, because it's definitely different for all of you, but finding out this information 
uh, was very upsetting and probably and definitely made you have to re-strategize a little bit. There's a lot of pentacles here. Some of this was purely about business or work, okay? But you're finding your you're gonna find your footing because you are definitely very motivated to only allow things in your life that are gonna help you grow, okay? Help you grow and find that stability and honestly make you feel a little special, okay? <laughs> and that's just the truth of it. I think some of you were dealing with someone where you had to cater to them a lot, okay? You had to cater to them a lot and maybe initially that didn't seem like it would be the case and then you got down to the nitty gritty and it was like, hold on, wait a minute. I gotta do a lot more work here than what we initially agreed upon, whether it's a job or a relationship or what have you. But either way, you're feeling blessed and you're putting down the burden of this person and the blocks and obstacles that they created in your life, all right? So let's look at the 10 of Pentacles. Take a peek at that. I'm going to use the Crystal Visions deck for this one. So I have the Ten of Pentacles. So I have the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you were suffering from fatigue and, uh, um, how do I say this? Like lackadaisical kind of energy. Some of you guys were suffering from that and you're getting over that. You're getting over that. You're, you're pushing that energy out and you're getting that fire back in your life and that get up and go back in your life. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles. For Leo, regarding love for the first half of November. Time with the Ten of Pentacles. For Leo, regarding love for the first half of November. Time about Ten of Pentacles. Time about Ten of Pentacles for Leo, regarding love for the first half of November. Time about the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I was working with this deck in the partner reading and now it's gotten very stiff. Very stiff, very rigid. Whatever you were obligated to before, Leo, you didn't have a whole lot of wiggle room. You weren't very free, okay? And I know Leos don't exactly like change. You guys like your rules. If it, well, Leos, again, I love you. I love you to death. I got a lot of Leos in my life. Leos, it's not that you're like hardcore on rules. You don't mind not having a whole lot of rules, but... If there are rules and it's to your benefit, you guys are really okay with it, if that makes any sense. So I have a Ten of Pentacles. I don't think these rules were to your benefit whatsoever. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles. Because like Leos are fixed sign, but they don't like to be restrained or contained. Like Leos like their freedom. They need their freedom. And I don't think you had a whole lot of that in this obligation. We'll just start calling it the obligation. I already give you the examples of what it could be for you personally. So I have the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, Eight of Cups in reverse Piscean energy. Whatever this Ten of Pentacles vibration is, whether it's a home environment or a legacy that you've built up, like I said, it's like something that was meant to last, meant to last the test of time. <laughs> Stand the test of time. That was so hard for me to say. You're having a hard time letting it go because you put in a lot of effort. There's a lot of effort and time put into it. You're having a hard time letting it go. Do you know the Ten of Pentacles? For some of you, this is a return to stability and something that was very uh, supportive of you or someone that was very supportive of you after dealing with an energy that didn't allow you to be free, an energy that really had a lot of hidden agenda, right, that you became aware of after the fact. Some you could be returning to true stability and a true foundation that's meant to last, okay? So just keep that in mind as well. But I really feel like Whatever you signed up for initially, you did put a lot of time and energy into, and that alone really kind of bothers you, right? So I'm over the Ten of Pentacles for Leo. So I'm over the Ten of Pentacles for Leo regarding love for the first half of November. So you could be moving back into a family that's coming across for some of you. Three of Wands. Wow. Aries energy. Wanting more. Wanting what you feel you deserve. Wanting what you feel you deserve. Oh my God, I'm being drawn to that beauty imagery again. It's like, you see she's holding in her hand a big orb and it almost looks like it's got wings, doesn't it? That's so crazy. It almost looks like it has wings. I feel like that's the blossoming beauty stuff that you know that you could have had, Leo, while you realize, wow, this person standing in my way or this obligation standing in my way from having my ships come in. They are a block in my life and I can't have the promising... Um, opportunities that I know I deserve and that I'm entitled to what I've worked so hard for that's that's exactly what it is Leo you know what you deserve and you know what should have come your way but this person was really getting in the way of that or this obligation was really getting in the way of that and you knew you had to do something about it 
And as you start to realize that more and more information about this, uh, this obligation or person started coming to light that you really were not privy to before, beforehand, and you're like, oh, fuck no. <laughs> oh, hell no. Hell to the no. <laughs> not letting that persist in my life. Time of the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Page of Cups and the Sun in Reverse, Leo Energy. It's... <laughs> Why am I getting honesty with this? I'm getting honesty with the Page of Cups. I feel like you being honest with yourself, you being honest with yourself here that you're not exactly happy. You weren't happy in this obligation. You weren't happy. You were feeling oppressed. You were trying, I feel like you were trying to work with it though. You were trying hard to deal with it because Leo's, you can be very loyal, especially if it's like an obligation. You're very loyal to that shit or that, you know, or this person. But at the end of the day, you're like, yeah, this doesn't make me happy. This doesn't make me happy. The sun is not shining on me. I am not happy. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles for Leo regarding love for the first half. Oh, yeah, there's Ace of Swords. More about that honesty. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles for Leo regarding love for the first half of November. Oh, there it is. There it is, Leo. <laughs> Leo. Ace of Swords with the Fool. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's the Uranus card. The truth that I just want to break away from this. The truth that I'm breaking this obligation. I'm breaking this contract. I'm breaking this agreement. I'm breaking out of this relationship. Whatever it was, you're breaking away from it because the truth of it is, being honest with yourself before this person or people involved in this obligation, that it doesn't bring you happiness. It doesn't bring you joy. And that you're, you're holding on to what you know you deserve and the things that you've worked so hard for, and you're not going to let this person or obligation be a block anymore, and you're just breaking away from it. Overall energy, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, also my pre card. Oh, I never realized there's a big cat in there too. It's a tiger still, but still a big cat. That's so funny. Because um, you know, okay, I love this, Leo. I love this. Whatever this obligation is, you already know that you standing on your own, you're fine. You already knew that. Like, you didn't really need other people. Um, hold on a second. My eyes itchy again. Um, Leo, you know you could stand on your own and be happy on your own and that you didn't really need other people to have that happiness. But some of you were definitely building a business. Some of you definitely were. Jesus, I'm so sorry, guys. Some of you were building a, a business, a project, or trying to build a home, a family, whatever it is that required other hands. And you're realizing it wasn't working out the way you expected. It wasn't bringing you happiness. It wasn't turning out the way you expected it to. It was becoming a burden. It was becoming an obstacle from what should have been, from what could have been. And like I said, it could just be one person. It could just be a relationship that you thought like, hey, this is my dream person. It's totally gonna work out. I'm like, oh shit, no, it's not. Cause I, I didn't know all of who this person really was. And this is not the person I want to share a family with or a home with. I'm gonna go ride solo, okay? <laughs> oh, Leo, I love this energy. All right, so... This is you putting it behind you, putting that behind you, and you breaking away, breaking away into the news. So let's go ahead and break down this energy. Uh, let's look at the Ace of Wands, because this is about, well, or the Fool? No, the Fool. Let's look at the Fool, because that's what you're, the action of what you're actually going towards, okay? I'm going to use Rider Wait for this one. Talking about the Fool. I keep hearing Aries. Talking about the Fool for Leo. Talking about the Fool for Leo. Regarding love for the first half of November. Climb up the fool. Climb up the fool. For Leo. Regarding love for the first half of November. Climb up the fool. For Leo. Regarding love for the first half of November. I also just heard April. He could definitely be the with an Aries. Okay. Tell me about the fool. Tell me about the fool for Lee. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay. Too many cards. Too many cards, Spirit. Sorry, way too many cards. Tell me about the fool for Leo. Regarding love for the first half of November. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Page of Pentacles in reverse can be a, can be a lazy card. <laughs> it can be a lazy card. It could also be just not seeing the details. And Leo, I think that's exactly what happened. You just didn't see the details of everything you were obligated to or all of this of who this person was. Some of it was just an obligation or contract. Others, it was a person, a relationship. Okay, take your pick. 
Talking about the fool. Talking about the fool for Leo regarding love for the first half of November. Oh, hold on. Oh my. Oh, 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 are you ready for this, Leo? Wow. King and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy, Capricorn energy, both are Earth. <coughs> hold on a second. Crap. Mm. <clears throat> I think I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. King and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus energy could also be Earth or Air. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or Water. Like I said, this could have been a family situation. We got the King and Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles here, but I really feel like this is just not looking at all the details. Being kind of careless, actually. Being a little careless in um looking at the obligation that you had signed up for and again it's like because all this shit's coming to light where it's like holy shit this is so not where my happy lies king and queen of pentacles in reverse it's like both of you weren't exactly giving to each other if this was a relationship if this was a relationship versus like a job or something of that nature both of you were not giving to each other it's almost like both of you were kind of acting in a selfish way and hey no shade no shade leos you were definitely dealing with someone who had a, had a false facade or just a facade, I guess, who had a facade of being that nurturing person who could give to you. And it's almost like you couldn't see how selfish this person really is or how self-focused or even manipulative, some manipulative, not all of you, some of you was a manipulative person, uh, really was. I feel like very image focused. Yeah, they're telling me, yeah. Someone who was very image focused and because they were acting that way, it just made you not want to deal with them. You know what I mean? It's just like a domino effect. Would you want to deal with someone who just only wanted to deal with you out of their own obligatory reasons, right? I also, for some of you, this person had a lot of roles for you. A lot of roles and you were just like, mm? excuse me? <laughs> Leo, I just feel like it got to the point where it was like, yeah, this is not, this is not what I signed up for. Let's see what else we got here. Tell me about the fool. Got two more cards. Tell me about the fool for Leo regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the fool. Tell me about the fool for Leo. All right, so we got four cards in total. Wow. Yeah, okay. Sorry, a lot of energy in these four cards. So three of pentacles, Capricorn energy, and the five of pentacles, Taurian energy here okay it's building from from ground zero is what I'm getting which is funny because you're in the full energy ground zero zero point it's like I'd rather build up from ground zero with nothing okay <laughs> that's what I would rather do like Leo that's exactly what you're saying for some of you it's also about um establishing some kind of um team effort or relationship here to come out of a place of feeling so oppressed and feeling so lacking because then interestingly enough we've got the world Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Charles, Capricorn with the Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. I got to be honest, Leo, I feel like this is someone coming to you, offering a whole new cycle here, okay? Yeah, look at this energy. For some, there could be travel involved with the world. If there is, it could be international travel. But Leo, there's a door opening up for you that's allowed, that's also helping you get out of the situation here. And it does, and for some, it's a team effort from someone who's coming in to offer this to you. Others, you're just starting from ground zero. They're just like, fuck it. I, it's, it's, it's better. It's just better this way. <laughs> so like, it is just better. I do this on my own, on my own terms. And as you start to do that, you start to open up a whole new cycle for yourself and allowing those opportunities to come in. Right. And I feel like a lot of you will be encountering a person coming in as you decide to do this. Okay. Overall energy. We've got the king of wands. The Leo energy could also be fire or air. This is the energy you're taking on. Look at you, Leo. Look at you. That's freaking beautiful for you guys. That's so beautiful. You have that inspiration. You have that drive. You have that motivation. You're ready to take a risk, even if it means losing some of your stability, losing some of your finances. Some of you will be losing some finances here. Underneath that, we do have the four of pentacles in reverse. Cappy energy. Some of you will be losing some money here, okay? But it's worth it. That's what I'm getting, that it's worth it. To get out of an obligation that you want nothing to do with, to get out of an obligation that it was like, oh, this is what this is? No. No. <laughs> no I'm not doing that right sometimes that sometimes we got to make those hard decisions Leo and it seems like you're doing that okay 
Then we get to this energy where I feel like this is the burden you're dropping. You're, you're, drop, you're dropping the obstacle that was created from this obligation that you didn't get all the details about. Okay, and like I said, for a lot of you, this is a person. A lot of you, this is a relationship that really just kind of got in the way of beautiful opportunities. It got in the way of your own path. I really feel that way. It just created an obstacle here. So let's look at this Queen of Wands in reverse, and then we'll go ahead and pull some advice, okay? Um, what do I feel like the Lone Armin deck? Yeah, let's do Lone Armin. Let's do Lone Armin deck. All right. It's hard to reach. Talking about the Queen of Wands in reverse for Leo. Talking about the Queen of Wands in reverse for Leo. This person is definitely a soulmate of yours. Talking about the Queen of Wands in reverse for Leo. Oh, yeah. Coffin. Energy of eight uh, with the nine of pentacles. Is that, hmm? Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Coffin is exactly how it sounds. It's an ending. Putting an end to this, walking away from this. Talking about the Queen of Wands in reverse. Ooh, the clock. 37, so cyclical energy. We already know you're coming into a whole new cycle here. And like I said, for some, you are meeting someone along the way who will be helping you in that endeavor, uh, working with you, working with you to start from ground zero. Uh, the clock is an energy of time. Of time is of the essence here. It was time. Thank you, Spirit. It was time. It was time to let this obstacle go, to let this obligation go, to let this person go. Talking about the Queen of Wands in reverse. Talking about the Queen of Wands in reverse for Leo regarding love for the first half of November. All right, so now we've got, oh, oh my God, that couldn't be clear. The mountain. The card of obstacles, the card of blocks and blockades. 21 breaking down to a three and eight of wands, which is a card of movement or yeah, eight of wands, card of movement with the bridge. 38 breaking down to an 11. The bridge is literally how it sounds. It's going to where the grass is greener. It's also a card of fate. Okay. You knew this person, this obligation was blocking you from your fate. It was blocking you from your path. It was blocking you from growing. It was blo blocking you from where you really truly wanted to be and from where you'd be truly happiest. And you weren't going to let that ha stand anymore. Overall, we do have the maze. 43 breaking down to a seven, being on your path. Energy of seven, being heading in the right direction. This is a card of confusion. Of am I going the right way? Am I not going the right way? For some of you, whatever these opportunities are, are that you're no longer blocked from the destiny that you're no longer blocked from the happiness you're no longer blocked blocked <laughs> blocked from i feel like represents this person standing in the middle i don't know if you guys can see that it's a female it could be a person you were trying to head towards it doesn't have to be a person but for some i was getting a little bit of that relationship energy oh well duh <laughs> i'm meeting a person in this new opportunity yeah so for some of you it's a person doesn't have to be though doesn't have to be um, but it's just that, like that pristine end goal, right? With the three birds there. It's just something that is special. <laughs> Leo, I love you, but you guys like to feel special. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. You guys are the sun card. You're the epitome of the sun. You need the light. Sometimes you need to be in the spotlight. You're the fifth house. You're, you're the card of being in the spotlight. Look at the card, Jesus. I can't talk guys. Leo's you're the epitome of being in the spotlight. All right. So that's why you like to feel special. No shade. You do you. OK, but that's what I feel like you've been trying to get to. And this obligation or person was keeping you from that, keeping you confused, keeping you like going left, going right instead of just heading right to where it is you're supposed to be. OK, and underneath that, we do have the tower, the card of obligations. It's a Hierophant card, essentially, in this deck. It's the card of contracts, institutions, agreements, uh, governments, even obligations. OK. 19, another cyclical energy with the six of swords. So even if we just look at the cards here, the um, cardamancy cards that are on these, on here, that are on the Lenormand cards is what I meant to say. We've got the eight of wands and the six of swords. Moving on, moving on, moving on, okay? Leo, this is beautiful. I really am proud of you guys for being able to do this. It's not always easy to to cut ties and obligations, especially if some of you might lose some money here. Like I said, some of you will, some of you definitely will, but it's worth it. Obviously it's worth it. All right. Okay. Let's get some advice. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? 
Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Cat spirit. Ah, claim your independence. 13, breaking down to four. Everyone's been getting this card today. Everybody's been getting this card today. Like I said, you would rather write solo, okay? You'd rather write solo than deal with someone who's going to take you down or someone who's going to restrict you, keep you from your destiny, keep you from where you want to be, keep you from your happiness, or keep you from creating whatever it is you were trying to create in the first place with them. Some of this was just a business deal. Some of you was just a contract. Others, it was a full-blown relationship, okay? But you're not afraid to go do battle by yourself, all right? Any other advice for Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice for Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice for Leos? Oh! Okay. Remember when I said some of you will be encountering a, a person here along your new path. Mm. Oh yeah, we got the otter spirit. Oh yeah, you are never alone, 42, breaking down to a six. It could also be just be a card of, hey, even if you're alone, your guides are always with you. You always have energies and ancestors that love you. But I really feel like whoever is helping you in this and starting this whole new cycle, helping, where'd the three of pentacles go? Working with you, collaborating with you to get you to start from ground zero to build back up again. It's someone who really has your back, okay? Someone who's really got your back and who's really there to support you in interdependently. Thank you. Interdependently. Interdependently. They really want to emphasize that. One, one more time. Interdependently. Okay. Ah! Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five. Leo, I almost want to pull cards on this night. I almost want to pull cards on this night because you guys know me. These two cards... Otter Spirit, Nightingale Spirit are the only cards in this whole entire Spirit Animal deck that indicate a love, a love partner, a romantic connection. The only ones, okay? The only ones. <laughs> Nightingale Spirit, very indicative of a very significant love interest being involved in this. But with Otter Spirit, that's like two of cups, lovers, six of cups, all kinds of goodness right there. Wow. Wow. Uh, any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Let's see here. Oh, oh my God. That's so funny. Because I kept saying special, like you want to feel special. You want to make sure that you're signing up for anything that makes you feel good, makes you feel special. Like number one, scarab beetle spirit magic works through you. In Egyptian culture, this is the, the um, symbol of the chosen one, the special one, essentially, Leo. 52, breaking down to a seven, again, being on your path. And there's also a card of manifestation. You're making shit happen. Even if you got to break away from a person or an obligation or many people or an institution, you're breaking away from it because it doesn't bring you joy. It doesn't bring you happiness. Even if you feel like you have to do it on your own, you won't be alone because there's clearly going to be someone coming in here as part of this new cycle with you. Okay. And it seems like for a lot of you, this is a romantic connection. It doesn't have to be. It could just be a very significant um, connection here at this time in your life. Overall energy, we have seahorse spirit, watch and wait. 53 breaking down to an eight here. We have progression energy with the 52 and the 53. You're going to be just fine. <laughs> Leo, you're going to be just fine here, okay? Seahorse Spirit is a card of patience. Like a card of patience and incubation here. I, I really feel like it's just saying be patient with yourself, Leo. As you remove yourself from this obligation, be patient and building back up because someone is going to come in to offer you a helping hand. I got to clarify that night now. I got, I have to. I have to. Can't help it. I'm going to use the, the other Lenormand deck here. Tell me about this night with the world for Leo. Tell me about this night with the world for Leo regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the world with the Knight of Wands for the for Leo regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me who this person is. Ooh, the 
got a female, Ace of Swords with 29, breaking down to an 11. Ace of Swords is truth. It's communication. Tell me more about the world with the Knight of Wands. Oh, Leo. All right, now we have the garden. Oh my God, the garden. Oh my God, that's so funny. Okay, I don't know if you guys see this. I just realized, does that not look? Oh my God, and it's a female. Doesn't have to be an actual woman. It could also be a man. It's just energy, right? But look at that. The garden, the little, this just looks like an awning with a person in it to me. And then female, female. Oh my God, that's crazy. I got the chills. Anyway, um, wow. So female in the garden. This could be someone who's in the public eye. This could be someone within your own community or your own social network here, okay? Let's see what else wants to come out. So I'm with the world with the Knight of Wands for Leo. Tell me more about the world with the Knight of Wands for Leo regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me more about the world with the Knight of Wands. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh my God, Leo. We've got the house and the bouquet. King of Cups and Queen of Swords here. Bouquet is a gift, a gift. Home is like domestic. It's also like, it's also security. It's security, it's comfort, a gift of security here. Yeah, someone, someone quite literally is coming into your life, Leo. So just be patient. Be patient as you cut away from this obligation here because someone who's either in the public eye or within your social network is quite literally coming in. It's almost like as a blessing of security, as a blessing of security here, okay? And you know what's really strange? On the bottom, we have female. There's Yeah, there's two females in this deck for many reasons, okay? So like I said, a lot of you are leaving a person or relationship behind. Female, new path. We have messenger, which is movement, like a card of just like getting and going with the snake. Treachery here, okay? <sighs> Definitely leaving someone or an obligation behind because um, it's just a block on your path. It's a block on your path. You're going to start from ground zero if you have to. If you have to, you're going to. And not too long after that, you're going to get a helping aid. <laughs> I was really hoping I wouldn't have to stitch these. You're going to meet someone who is essentially going to, to bless you in the realm of security and stability. Okay? Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Leo, this was an awesome reading. I'm, a, I'm really bummed out to stitch it, but that's okay. That's fine. I can deal. Um, but I hope you guys have a really great night. And I hope you guys don't forget to check out uh, Patreon and Vimeo. I will be putting up the partner reading some point at the end of this week. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Okay. All right, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you later. Namaste.